Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Storytime Family. How have you been? Is it cold where you are, or is it warm? I hope you're having a good day, and that you had a good day at school. And have you been reading lots of books on your own? Well, thank you for making time to read with us. Today we have "Llama Destroys the World" by Jonathan Stutzman, and illustrated by Heather Fox. Let's take a look. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama, proclaim Llama. Monday, on Monday, Llama found cake. Ooh, cake! I could use some cake. Piles of cake, more cake than any llama should ever eat. That said, Llama. That looks like a yummy cake. Llama ate all of the cake. That's a lot of cake for a llama. This was his first mistake. Brr. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and, eventually, the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday, Tuesdays were for dancing, so Llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake. But he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. So Llama huffed and puffed, and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. This was his second mistake. And then Llama danced. He jigged, he tangoed, and he cha-chaed real smooth. His rhythm was perfect, his moves were precise, but the pants never stood a chance. Rip, ripping my pants is actually my worst nightmare. The rip was thunderous; it shook the house, the trees, and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. Rip. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that the black hole tore open. Rip. <laughs> Wednesday. On Wednesday, Lama found the black hole. That said Lama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be, or what it could do. But Llama was a llama of science. He knew the answers were out there, waiting to be discovered. Llama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find, and then he analyzed the data and came to a well thought out conclusion. That. Said Lama wisely. Instead of warning the world of his imminent doom, Lama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. This was his third mistake. Thursday, on Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky: flying top hats, soaring teacups. Twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles, but Lama didn't notice. Thursdays were for painting, and Lama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. 
That sure sounds like a scary black hole. The animals flew. The pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew. And Llama flew too. I am Llama. The black hole swallowed everything up. Every single thing left in the world. Everything left in the universe. I'm Llama. Until there was nothing. Saturday. On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly like it had been before. Even Llama. I am a llama, proclaimed llama. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, the world was perfectly calm, like nothing had ever happened. Sunday, on Sunday, with the world back to normal, llama found something wonderful, piles of pie. More pie than any llama should ever eat. That, said Llama. Llama ate all of the pie. I would eat the pie too, would you? Hope you like Llama Destroys the World. If you like this book, do give us a like and subscribe and click on the bell for more fun stories like this. Leave us a comment too, we'd love to hear from you. If you like a copy of this book, the links to purchase it are in our description below. You take care of yourself and your family. We'll see you back here soon. See you then, bye bye.